Thank you for sending to you our recently established Far Eastern University Herbarium and our collaborative ventures. So currently, based on the website of Index Herbarium, there are 18 registered Philippine herbaria. So 15 of them are coming from Luzon, and actually three of them are coming from UPLP. So two are from Visayas and one from Mindanao, the Central Mindanao University. And 15 of these 18 herbaria are actually university-based. And I think there's a lot of herbaria in the Philippines, but still not registered in Index Herbarium. So just the um, general information about our recently established herbarium. So it was established last year. So we're still in our formative uh, phase. So our official herbarium code is FUH. So we are citing specimens for our herbarium. This is the correct code. So it is located in our science building. So this is a UNESCO World Heritage Building. And these are just our contacts if you wish to contact us after this presentation. So this is our current staff. So it is headed by Dr. Santria, who is a um, uh, university teacher's fellow in FDU. So she's doing ecology of terrestrial plants, specifically the pale parts. So me doing systematics on the family singularity. So I'm a faculty member. Also Ms. Minerva Arenas, faculty member also, who's doing studies on macrofungi. And our research assistant, um, Glenn Gamos, who is um, currently a master's student in FAU, who is doing um, studies on algae, specifically on rhodophytes or red algae. So we have also our former uh, members of FUH, um, Dr. Richard Vito Mila, who is also doing rhodophyte studies, who is now based in Pindano State University, Tawi Tawi Campus. And Rose Romero, which is our former RA who did molecular work in our laboratory. So just a brief history of how we established our herbarium in 2017. Um, our project was approved by the administration. So starting 2017, we did um, different field works already, and then in in 2018, we moved to the phase two or molecular analysis. So we did barcode studies, phylogenetic studies, and even population genetics. Okay, and in the same year, in 2018, our herbar was registered in Index Herbarium. And it is expected that the project will end in 2020. So in this year, in 2019, we're writing our papers or publications that were from um, that were that were collected from our fieldworks and and other um, methods. So in terms of our collection, currently we have a total of four thousand two hundred forty nine um, specimens. So forty four percent are algal specimens. Um, Fifteen percent are fungal specimens. So these are macrofungi and 41% are vascular plant specimens. So we have also donations from um, international herbara like the USDG in Thailand. So they, they donated 164 specimens. And also CAHU, PPLP, donated some numbers of specimens in our herbarium. So Sorosomon is the most sample, made 1,376 adult specimens. 178 vascular plant specimens. Okay, because our, uh, we have projects which is based on source of so most of our specimens are coming from this province. And our fungal specimens are only from Bohol and Tabilin Island in Mindanao. So in terms of family diversity, currently we have a 291 families. So 56 are adult families. 30 are Punjai families, 205 are vascular plant families, the largest. Okay, and the most represented families are Grubiaceae, of course, the fourth largest family in the world. So Zingiberaceae, may focus, and Fabaceae. So this is our recent field works. 
So last year we met in different localities like the Mount Hibok-Hibok Kamikin, in Lansi, Katuna Protected Lansi, in Bohol, in Pidig, Ilocos Norte. We also collected algal specimens in coastal areas of Sorsogon, Ilocos Norte, and even in Batangas and Pangasinan. So we went also in Mount Bulusan, Cuernos de Negros Mountains in Negros Oriental, Kamigin de Baboyanes in Cagayan, in the Baboyan Group of Islands. So also in Mount Mantenihan in Malawan, and Mount Timon in Sambonga del Sur. So this year we revisited some of these localities and even went to Surigao del Norte in Bucas, Blanque Island, and Clever and Dubon. So for our type specimens, so we have only few, we have 10 type specimens. So two are all types and eight are isotypes. So if you have new species, maybe try to consider um, donating your isotypes here in our herbarium. So these are just the information needed for databasing. So we collect this information and then we collate them in in an Excel file. So for our facilities, so we have a specimen room. It is, a, it is still a small room with aircon, of course, and the humidifier to absorb the moisture inside the, the, the specimen room. And actually, we are still uh, requesting for uh, metal cabinets, which is the standard for her bar room. So for the meantime, um, these cabinets serve as our storage for our specimens. We also have our freezer for pest control. So before putting the specimen inside the specimen room, we freeze the specimens for two weeks. We also have our driver, microscopy station, general workstation, and our database and barcoding area. So um, our herbarium uh, already implemented the barcoding system. So this is the standard actually for all herbaria, even international herbaria. And I think we are the first herbarium in the Philippines to implement this system. So it's for convenience, so you don't have to scroll up, or up and down your Excel file. You just punch the barcode and then the details will come out. It's like the, the, the a system in the library. Okay, but, but actually we are currently um, encoding our database in, in DRAMS, if you know the software DRAMS, D-R-A-H-M-S. So it's a software for herbarium database. So for our molecular lab, so we have a mini molecular lab just to complement our uh, morphological studies. So this molecular lab is used by graduate students and even undergraduate students who's doing their thesis. So we have our PCR, um, big raptors, okay, microcentrifuge, centrifuge and other um, equipment needed for molecular study. So for the research, so we have um, the algal systematics in the Philippines, but we are more focused on studying Protophytes or red algae. So these are some of the publications we um, generated from our data, and there is an ongoing work of of sorcerers. So this is a green algae, and it is already submitted for publication. So these are some of the species, global species. So two new species of pyropia that was named after the daughters of. Um, Dr. Richard Dunigan. So for the gingers, my study, we have a current uh, ongoing work on the gingers of Sorsogon. Uh, and actually we are in the, in the day outing phase, stage, and hopefully the field guidebook will be published next year. Okay, so here are some of the publication we also generated from our data. And this October, three new species are expected to be out, okay, and one new record of ginger in the Philippines. For the diversity of macrofungi in the Hasikatuna protected landscape, okay, so we already have collected 85 species of macrofungi, 55 genera and 30 families, and we're still considering revisiting the area. 
Okay? And actually, um, we are also doing barcoding studies in this, in this fungal specimens. And we are also considering uh, collecting fungal specimens around the Philippines. So not just um, Bohol. So for um, the ecology of Anisoptera conifera, so this is a study by Dr. Sandraya. So this is uh, uh, the project is based in Pilip Ilocos Norte. So we are monitoring the intensity and time of flowering and fruiting events, seedling recruitment and growth and mortality of the population of the Pteropars in Pilip Ilocos Norte. And actually this is um, currently ongoing for two years. And I think it is expected to be done at, in December. So for our graduate students who's using our herbarium, so we have Glenn Gamas again, our research assistant, who's doing uh, phylogeny of Philippine Bambia. Okay, we also have Robert Pichano, our master's student, who's doing taxonomic listing of uh, algae in Camille de Baguianes in Baguian Islands and also doing some barcoding studies. And we also have uh, collaborators from other universities like um, Carl Brian Domingo from USD and currently helping him to in doing his master's thesis on Philippine Amomo, systematics of Philippine Amomo, and even our um, faculty, Mohamed Jeffy Arshad from La Salle Manila, who is currently finishing his uh, dissertation about the um, Philippine dyslexia of the family of Osinese. So these are just our collaborators who strengthen our uh, resources. So we have Dr. Anamalista and Tadiosa and of course, Sir Dalila Tandang of the National Museum or PNH. We have Dr. Cecilia Bana of the University of Santo Tomas Herborium. Dr. Axel Dallard Posen of the Royal Botanic Garden in Edinburgh in United Kingdom. And of course, Ma'am Anani Suligang and uh, Ma'am Michelle Ale Ale Alejado of CAHU. Dr. Victor Amoroso, Dr. Critico and Ma'am Medicinio. Okay, of the Central Mindanao University, Dr. Balancot of Fiji Baguio, Dr. Um, Dr. Galao of Northwestern University in Ilocos Norte, who is currently helping us in the um, ecological study of Anisoptera Tulifera, Dr. Paul Geraldino of University of San Carlos in Cebu, and Dr. Renato Reyes of Central Luzon State University, who is helping us also in doing our macro studies. And that will be all. Thank you.